welcome back to this new uh, video so welcome back to my channel and uh, in the last video i have already told you how to uh, uh, custom training uh, using yellow v5 so basically uh, downloading the custom data set and trained it uh, with the uh, yellow v5 so this is the detection that i showed you in the last video so you can find the video in the description you can go through that link and uh, find out how to uh, do the custom training using your v5 so this is the wet file uh, experiment 4 that was saved uh, in the last video and that is uh, basically uh, in pytorch format so uh, now i'll show you how to convert this pytorch model into tensorflow model so what exactly the tensorflow model so you know the yellow v5 and all these things are uh, installed uh, uh, means uh, written in pytorch so uh, in so during uh, you know uh, like some uh, other options like for the deployment and all sometimes we require the tensorflow model so now i'll uh, take uh, the tensorflow light so this is the command here so for this uh, we'll go with the export.py that is uh, given in already uh, in the yellow v5 repo so just uh, open the command window and run that python script that is uh, export.py python space export.py so now I am uh, just activating my Conda environment with the Torch GPU support. So yeah, so now I am in the environment. So now I'll just uh, copy paste uh, this command where the yellow v5 repo. Okay, so this is uh, the python export.py then weights and uh, then uh, if you include include basically uh, gives you the conversion form whether you want uh, tf flight or onnx or any other format that is given in the export.py file so here uh, the weight file already we have the weight file uh, that is uh, based on the custom uh, data set so i am just providing the path of it so as I have shown you that path was in uh, run uh, folder, under run folder, then train, then experiment 4, then weights. So I am considering the base.pt. So that is the PyTorch and then include I am just converting it in TF Lite. So as you see the exporting has been started. So this is uh, the saved file you can see 27.0 MB so obviously the TF light model is the light version of uh, 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 of any other format so Natron app uh, so just completed see the path so in the same folder that has been stored so if you see here so this is your TF light model dot TF light and this is the your PB file. So if you open Netron app, you can see the structure of uh, your model. So now we can go for the detection using uh, TF uh, light model. So in the last video, I have showed you the detection. So for the detection, uh, we will consider uh, detect.py. So here is the script. So you can see Python uh, detect.py. Then you have to provide the path of the weights file and uh, yeah these these are the source input images so the most interesting thing here uh, fine let me show you okay so now this is the path of tf light model i just copied now python space detect.py dash dash weights and this is the path and now i have to provide the source so source is the input images that four input images i am having so space now path of that particular source so data then images okay press enter yeah that's it it is considering uh, the tf light model and now the detection will start so if you see here 
the tensor flow light model is considered for CPU so yeah obviously if you uh, uh, use uh, the device zero then it will go for uh, the GPU so we have to wait a while while detecting basically it is loading so see so now the most important thing if you see over here the detection uh, the label name is person but as you know our uh, detection label are the police car right so these are the police car basically so here it is detecting as a person so why it is so because when we convert uh, the pytorch model to tf light so tf light is having the common conversion based on the coco format so when you are converting this to tf light so you are not providing any uh, the yml file so by default it is taking coco 128.yml so there the label is person so now you have to provide our custom yml file so our custom yml file is show, uh, stored in the data so just i am providing the custom yml file so after providing the custom YML file you can see that the detection has been started yeah so see now the police cars every images is detecting police car so if you see the output yeah see that's it so this is the simple process to convert the PyTorch uh, to TensorFlow thank you for watching this video for more videos to subscribe my channel